Okay, this is Wayne Viner with Red Turtle Productions Trip Talk. We've got Joe B. Joe, you're covering the game on Saturday. I know you've been taking a lot of notes. <laughs> I've been there. You Six got weeks of notes. Six weeks. Uh, but the one thing, since they haven't played, you can't really tell what kind of football team they are, but you've been around a lot of teams. How does this seem like it's coming together as a team? Everyone that we're getting to speak with, Wayne, from head coaches to athletes to media relations folks, they all can sense that something positive is happening. And everything keeps coming back, at least from what I'm hearing, to this close-knit family relationship, a brotherhood, if you will. And if that's the case, and if you're going to take those positive steps off the field to be more connected to one another, you're more likely to go out there and give as much as possible to a total team effort and, and drive those efforts towards winning football games. I, I can understand what Coach Loxley wanted to do when coming in here, considering the climate, considering what had gone on, that that had to be at the top of his to-do list. And it sounds like, just speaking to his charges, just speaking to some of his players, that they've warmed to that and that they are firmly going to show that uh, in evidence through their play. This is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. In coming to the Jack Litch uh, Law Group office, I felt very at ease. Um, I was treated very kindly. And I felt that this is the person that I wanted to work with. As you just saw, our clients have trusted us. We need to reward that trust, and we have, with great results and great service. Call the big dogs, the Jack Litch Law Group. When you look at the coaches the Caps have had, and I'm sure mm -hmm. you know them much better yeah. than most people do, is the same type of team building go on at a pro level? Because the Caps have been very successful. I would say 100%, and, it, and it's usually done preseason. You know, you're going to spend a lot of the time in, in let's, let's just stay with the Maryland football program, the cookout at Coach Loxley's house, the barbecue, the movie night, the karaoke night. Those things are done in advance of the season. You're not going to spend a lot of time on those things in season. Obviously, you're inundated with breaking down tape and meetings and such. But during the preseason, professional squads do the same sorts of things. Uh, I know Barry Trotz in the past with the Washington Capitals was uh, famous for trying to bring his group to as many different activities where they'd have to pull the rope, in his word, pull the rope together. And whether it be a paintball contest or whether it be watching the, the Naval Academy midshipmen go through their day on the yard, those were all things that were designed to create family, to build those bonds. and. I, I think it's a wonderful idea for coaches throughout. It doesn't matter if it's pro or amateur sports. I don't even think it matters if it's sports. I know a lot of businesses do this. Absolutely. But it looks like Mike Loxley, just by his demeanor, the way he relates with people, is an expert at building communities.